Hi, I'm Stu. Join me as I continue my day at Shanghai Disneyland, watching an epic show, doing a high ropes course, and fighting my way through parade crowds. Out of the frying pan into the fire. I think, I think this first show has already happened. And the second show is at 10 past 11. I think that's just about now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm so excited about this. I do remember there's been a bit of a scramble when you get in. Since the people clambering over seats and stuff. Here's a pre-show first and there's the main show. I don't think the days can get much better after these two. I really don't. Literally two minutes later and we're starting to move. It's a dual queuing system again. Look at that. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like that before. From memory though, from what I've seen, the theatre isn't like, it's not full of bad seats. It's literally, I think it'd be okay. It's his famous last words. It's a full on stampede. Right. Luckily, I'm just one, so I should be able to sneak in somewhere. We'll see. Yeah, there's not a bad house, there's not a bad seat in here. Like, there's no bad seats. There's no like poles or anything. I don't know why it's so chaotic. <laughs> Here we go. This is a Mickey ears problem. Should be banned for shows. Mickey ears. Hello, 
敲嘴尖掌，呀、哦！我觉得此处可以有尖叫声。We could talk about the show. The effect's brilliant, but there's a lot of waffle. Now, yes, it's not in English, so maybe it just feels a bit longer than it would do otherwise. But all, I mean, what time is it now? So it's been to have started at 10 past 11. It's now quarter to 12, 35 minutes. And I can remember, like, obviously the indoor skydiving machine, incredible. The rotating, like the, the, the piece of wood that rotates that comes out. Bit of zip lining, a few stunt falls. Yeah, that really good at the back where he flew backwards into the net, that was good. So that's five kind of standout things. Oh, the canoes are going fast. Five standout things in a half an hour. That has the effects that you know, when you watch that show, put people put highlights in. You've seen you've seen everything about it. You know, there's no other stuff that you're missing. So, still good. I'm glad I saw it. Just didn't didn't blow me away like the ride. The ride was everything I expected. Four pound fifty for a corn dog. That's the most. That's pretty expensive for everything else I've been paying for. Oh, you got Kevin. Everywhere there's a character, there's literally a little mini parade which happens after the character. It tends to happen. Uh, Soaring is over here. Soaring is someone I'm going to be. I don't know if the video is slightly different over here. Soaring with a G. Um, 105 minutes, I mean, that's pretty brutal. So uh, it's not something I'm going to make a beeline towards. I will do if, it, if tomorrow seems to be everything's walk on. But guess what? It's not going to be. So um, I'm going to try and find, I'm gonna eat my little corn dog. I always buy one of these, realise I don't really like them, and then throw the rest away. But it was quick, had no queue, and it was en route. So this is what it is. This texture on the outside is really odd. Really, I can't tell you what it tastes like, or kind of feels like. It's a very odd texture. It's a bit spicy as well, actually. It's like, it's like having a donut around a hot dog but spicy, it's very odd. Okay, so I couldn't take you on with a GoPro, sadly. You can't use GoPro anyway these days, can you? Even though it would be strapped to me, it wouldn't have affected with a harness, it wouldn't have affected anything. Um, if I can wear these clothes, then... Anyway. Uh, but, I still give it a go because, like I said, I want to give all the new stuff a go. If you stop calling out for stopping anything progressing, so for example, you know, when they wanted to close Splash Mountain, people didn't want it to close, I, you're not going to get new, better, different experiences. That, I thought, oh, you know, it's Disney, isn't it? It's Disney. Look how high you are at the top of there. In fact, it didn't look that high on the camera. So the cabins below you sometimes are, are significant. 
to the point where some people just freeze. It's a bit odd because some stuff over here is tamed down quite a lot compared to like what we expect like in Europe and even the US. But then there's other stuff which is like balls to the wall. I did, there's two, there's actually three, there's a third one because I saw the, at the end, like an end point for the third one. But it was just brilliant it, because it's in a, my mind that's not a Disney thing, not a Disney thing. So I'm going to see if I can go up the cavern path to kind of show you a little bit further up. Let's we'll see what where we get. It's literally just tucked away to the side here. So you go right under the path. It is very clever how it works. So, can you see on the camera now? Not sure. Let's see if I can show you somewhere. You see here, all the runs run like this. So you can cross over and you'll, every time you'll have, every time you'll have like a harder one, a, a middle range one and then you have like a path. So if there's one obstacle you're going to do, you just switch across and get through. It's so well thought out. Obviously two runs here, two runs on the other side. See how Disney suit do some hiding of their lights there. Very odd actually, because you never, you never know that you see any of the, the lights, stuff like that. See, there's loads of those crossover sections and there's also a staff runner as well, I think, a different, slightly different color. I tried to go down there by mistake once and it actually stops you from going there. Like my, my harness must have been different to theirs. Speaking of harnesses, that is a labor intensive attraction to run. There's staff everywhere. Disney staff sat down because actually they expect to sit down so they can do your legs and stuff. It's just very odd. You don't really see Disney staff talking to guests sat down. So when I looked at that, I was like, oh, that's odd. It's just because it's an unusual thing to see. See, see, that's a, that's a decent amount of drop there. There was a couple of times I was like, I mean, if you're on there, put my head over here. It was very good. Stuff like this is the reason why every, Dis every Disney park should be just literally start from scratch. I know why they copy and paste stuff. It's a lot cheaper. But in an ideal world where money with no object, Disney are the best at what they do. So let them just have a blank canvas every time they do it. That's my two cents anyway. I might be wrong actually, see the scaffolding at the top. And that might be the rapids, because the rapids is covered. You can see it from the top of, uh, of here. The rapids is absolutely covered in scaffolding and, and they're obviously doing work on it. So maybe the rapids is in, entwined with it. This, this toilet there, because there was he said toilets, but it's actually just two like family toilets. And I saw this very powerful proverb in the toilet. Begin your day with a clean start. Sponsored by Detta. There's the, uh, the amount of work that's happening on the rapids. So I'll put this on the screen just to the side, but the app has just updated and now has a yellow line. It's like, what's that yellow line? I've not asked it for directions. It's the parade. It automatically updates, which is quite, quite a neat little feature. I'm pretty sure it's coming down this way on the way to Seven Dwarfs, so I might just be able to catch it. I'm just moving so I can position myself to get in the queue for Seven Dwarfs in a minute. It's crazy, everyone's just raised up like that.
currently in this massive, I mean, you can't stop it. You've got to either keep moving or to be crushed. Basically, this is the last flow. I've kind of run around the back, back of the last flow. So I can be first on this side. I need to get over to this side. People walking there completely now. That was mental. Like, again, in America, as much as like, you know, they, they, they do go the opposite way and you can't walk anywhere, you see why. That was borderline. Like, if, there's a, if there's a genuine emergency in there, someone is getting crushed. There is a culture over here of like, the odd nudge is just how things are done. So um, as obviously as a Brit, I find that very difficult to kind of gauge. It's not something we're kind of used to. But I reckon this queues me a bit bananas in a second. And Five minutes to get on and off Snow White Seven Dwarf Mine Train, which I think is great, really. Single rider, I mean, yeah, it's fun, it's more fun to, but it doesn't matter for two minutes and you're gonna save like an hour. Probably wasn't that long either, but this castle is ridiculous. We will present two performances of Illuminate. Nighttime celebration. So the only area that I've not been to yet, I think, is down this way. I imagine this is around Peter Pan. I like the fact that Castle Lem, there's this massive open body of water on this side. Well, that doesn't look very good, does it? The back, that building, that looks a bit... That looks a bit naff. I wonder what that's for. Is that... Yeah, I like the fact there's all this water. I just, you know what? I just love the fact it's different. That's, that's the bit I like most about it, it's different. I want to go to Tokyo Disneyland, it's going to be more of the same again. Don't get me wrong, Disney Sea will make up for that, but I like the fact it's very different. Look at this pizza. You can see it doesn't even cook properly because it's burned on the edges, but I mean, people will lap that up. Is that cheesy? Oh, that is inside there. I don't know what the voyage to the crystal is. It's supposed to be a little mermaid. Oh! That's the boat. That's the boat down the bottom, I think. Oh, yeah, we'll give that a go then. I didn't realise it was actually specific to the little mermaid. But it's more like the storybook ones you get in the other parks. But now again, it's just different. Let's walk through the centre of the castle. I do like how Disneyland Paris has the dragon. That is a nice touch there. And I'm surprised it's not being copied more often. Oh, is this for the... Oh, it goes right to the top. See the daylight outside of there. I'm glad they got the photos this morning. Those speaker towers are really ugly. Like, why are they up if there's no show on? They should come up like 10 minutes before a show, then you're back down again. See what I mean? Also, do they use all this space? Can you stand here for the fireworks? It feels like you'd be far too close. Uh, look at that for a scene. 
Incredible, isn't it? Oh, he's Mickey and Minnie. I, I don't get the whole costume thing. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just humans in fabric, and people will wait so long. I don't get it. I, I get it more if you're a kid and you believe maybe that they are real thing. I don't know. It's just, it's just me. I don't know. I'm in the minority here. Like, I'm here for the tech and all the all the cool tech that Disney use. What's well, really odd, actually. I forget how short this little thing is. There's, a, there's what would be the train station in Bracken. But that is one hell of a view. Around the outside is like a little like a food market area, if that makes sense. This is selling sweet stuff. There's Goofy down here. Oh, what's this on the left? I see people eating proper food. Oh, is there some noodles on the go? Let's see what we can get in here. So, let's have a look. I mean, this is ridiculously amazing. I'm so excited. Um, everyone got knives and forks, so they didn't have any chopsticks, which is what I found was odd. I thought, I thought it would just be me getting the knives and forks, but no, um, they give them to everybody. And also, everyone was ordering the spaghetti meatballs there. Like, everyone. Anyway, when I ordered it, I don't know if they just ran out, but the steak was cut fresh. And the noodles obviously just sat there. Let's have a look. So it was 108, which is literally 12 pounds, which compared to what you pay in the Florida parts or in Paris, crazy. Right, I'm gonna have this. It's far too much food, but oh, I'm so excited to eat something proper. We apologize for anything you need this may cost. And thank you for your understanding. It's not bad weather or anything, so it's not much to vote. 